So building chord progressions with the circle of fifths is incredibly easy. Um, in fact, when I found out about how to do this, um, I was actually quite annoyed that I'd been struggling to make chord progressions in the past doing it just by ear. Uh, although that's good, it's good to be able to work them out by ear, it is much easier using this. Um, so you know that going from C to G is a perfect fifth. Um, so each time you move around the scale you're going up five notes in the scale. Sorry, each time you move around this diagram um, you're going up a perfect fifth interval. And we can build chords very easily by doing this. If we're in the key of C major, this top one here, and we know that it has no sharps or flats, because it's got a, a natural symbol here, we can build a chord by starting at our root note, which is C, and then going up to our perfect fifth, which is G. And you'll notice that this is five notes apart, um, not including these here. So if we go one, two, five. We don't include the black notes because they're sharps and they're not in the scale. Um, now, so we've got a perfect fifth interval at the moment. Which isn't actually a chord, technically. Um, so what if we want to make that into a simple... C major triad chord. Now, this is really easy, like I said. All you need to do um, is go back one, but not back to C. Uh, so, if I explain this in simple terms, if you want to build a chord, you're basically going one, and then diagonally across, and then up, and so on. If you get what I mean. So we go G, B, D, or D, F sharp. A. So all we need to do is go down one from G to E. And this gives us our C major triad chord. Very, very easy. But that's in the key of C major and everybody knows that it's the easiest key to work in because uh, again you have no sharps or flats and it's just simple. So, make it a bit more complicated, we'll use an F sharp minor ah, key. So, our minor keys are actually located inside this ring here, as you can see from those labels. Uh, so we can see that our F sharp is here, and that stands for F sharp minor, as it's inside. This here would be F sharp major slash G flat. Uh, major, same thing. So if we start out at F sharp major, sorry minor, and we want to build a chord from that, what do we do? Okay, so first we grab the root note, and then again we go up to our perfect fifth, which is C sharp, and at the moment we've just got an interval. Now what do we do? How do we get, how do we turn this into a chord? And it's the same concept as above, you just go back one, uh, but not down. So basically, we're going, with, with C major we went C, E, G, and you're following that pattern. So diagonally across and then up. Uh, with the minor you're going up and then diagonally down. So we're going F sharp to A and then C sharp. So we put an A in there, we'll have our um, tonic chord, also known as the root chord. So it's very easy to do. Uh, now we could put our fifth chord here, straight after, but let's make it a bit more interesting. Let's try find our fourth chord. Um, and the great thing about the circle of fifths is that when you uh, go anti-clockwise, it actually turns into a circle of fourths. And if you don't understand what I mean, 
we'll take the F sharp going to a B. Um, if we go up from F sharp to a B, that's not actually five notes, it's only four. Um, in the scale you've got F sharp, and then it goes to G sharp, which is two, and then A, and then B, and that's only four. Um, so going back to this will give us our fourth chord. And we can simply put that in by starting at B. Going up to D. And finally finishing at F sharp. And this gives us our fourth chord, um, which is fourth as in Roman numerals IV. So we're going from 1 to 4 here, and now we want to go uh, to our perfect 5th or 5th chord, slash V, it's kind of annoying with so many names, um, and then resolve back to our tonic. Uh, so to do this, we simply go from F sharp again, which is our root note, forwards 1 to C sharp, which will be um, our starting note for our chord. And then we're just going to follow the same pattern again and go C sharp uh, to E and then to G sharp. And after that we can simply copy and paste our tonic chord back. And we've got ourselves a chord progression. So that's how you can easily work out chord progressions uh, from the circle of fifths diagram and it will improve your workflow tenfold especially if you spend a lot of time trying to work out chords um, by placing notes everywhere randomly. So I hope this helps a bit um, and yeah.